So welcome. Um, I know I'm recording now. Um, basically, I'm going to do an honest review of this book. Um, it's called Squirrel All in One for Dummies by Alan G. Taylor. It says it's got eight books all in one. Okay, it says third edition. I think this was, um, I'll just check to be on the safe side. I think it's 2020. I think it came out 2020, this one, third edition. It should have it here. Oh, 2019. So there we are. This came out, or pop was first published in uh, 2019, I'm assuming, because I can see it there. So I'm going to say it's 2019. Fair dues. I mean, I, I uh, did a... Uh, web development course at university and got a I think 2-2 two, two. and in my final year in my final year project I studied databases and entering data blah 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 if I had this book then teaching me about queries and and doing bits and bobs with the query language and different things this book would have been very valuable but this book, is, it says for dummies, but I think actually it's above dummies. So there's, if you think complete thickos uh, and dummies, just above them is where you should be. You should have already touched, touched squirrel language work on workbench, this, that, the other. They then get the book. So let me give you an example of what a, what you'd expect to get with a for dummies book so let me give you this one this is wordpress web design for dummies yeah by a wiley brand it's second edition actually the entire thing is focused around one theme the 2013 theme for which okay if you open up the books that a normal standard dummies book yeah has uh, instructions like for instance, let's try and get one for you so I can, I can hold it up to the screen. Uh, here you are. This is perfect. Uh, because I've used the book several times. This is when I learned a lot of my stuff for WordPress. Uh, and it's still relevant today. If you want to go and buy this book, you can do. But you can see, step four. I hope you can see that on camera. Step four. Create a theme functions file with the code in listing 11.2. And there it is. So you... You write out that code and see. So you've got yourself what I consider to be a step-by-step -step process for dummies. Yeah, the book's falling apart. I've used it that much. But I always refer back to this. And it, it could you still buy this book? I think you can. I'll check. And I'll add that description below. So if you can actually get this. If you've never touched WordPress design before, WordPress environment, WordPress themes, WordPress development, etc., etc., you can learn a hell of a lot with still this book, even though it's backdated to 2013, the theme. You can get a lot from theme development and creating themes and playing with themes and going through all the options and CSS styles, how different things work. So when you read the title, WordPress Web Design for Dummies, this is for dummies. This is for this here is for complete thickos. If you're a thicko, buy this one. Now this one, the honest review of this one, you've got to be above a dummy to buy to buy this book. So would I recommend buying this book? Do you know what I would? Simply because I have a better understanding. I've I've read. Um, there's so much in here; it's unbelievable. I think I've read the introduction. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> I've, I've actually read the in introduction to it. Or have I read, slightly reading the squirrel concepts? I have read, the, I've read all the introduction and I've read the majority of the squirrel, con that's it, that there, not the introduction. You've got the introduction, squirrel concepts, understanding relational databases, understanding why today's databases are better than earlier databases. It gives you a grounding inside the Squill, um, the SQL language. And it also gives you a grounding in the history of Squill. 
and also the different types of databases you can design for. It's about designing for it and understanding what data you're using and what data you're actually inputting into the tables or what data types you need to use. It's, it goes into quite a lot of depth and understanding where if you asked me way back when I was doing it and asked me those questions, I wouldn't know what you were talking I had a, a rough idea, but I wouldn't know exactly what you were trying to get, grasp or, or get the information to, where this book gives you this information. So there's a lot in here. But if I was uh, going to ad advise you before you buy this book, I mean, take a look at that model. Just that's what he's we're going into the actual nitty gritty. Yeah, you want to get into the nitty gritty of the squirrel language and get down to some very complex. I say complicated. It is complicated. Squirrel language, SQL, my query, uh, my, my squirrel, uh, workbench. All these things are complicated things so to get around all that and have a grounding and an understanding of it all so you can better understand what you're designing for this is the book for you if you've touched the language before i wanted a more uh fuller in understanding get this book if you've never touched squirrel you've never done databases and you've never done anything of any type whatsoever with databases you don't buy this book go go and have a my top advice there is get workbench watch some youtube videos have a little play try and get some databases up and running if you make mistakes don't worry that's part of the learning process have a little go then if you fancy carrying on with that and you're making some progress great but if you want to understand how the different uh, databases work which one will best, best suit your, say, for instance, a business designing a database, etc. You can then get this book. And I think I would say for dummies, and then I'd have the word advanced over the top of that, you know, advanced over the top of that. But as a, as a whole, I think it was 20 quid, this book. 20 pounds for, I think, I was expecting to get a book like this step one step two step three but you don't get it's not in there you get some you get examples you know you get you get like yes some sorts of thingy but it doesn't tell you where to put the code it's not a step-by-step -step process you're hard coding it through the actual editor inside your database creation software which again that's even that terminology and those that sentence sounded complicated which it is so to break it down for dummies this isn't for dummies it's for dummies advanced that's what it's for so if, you, if you've never touched it before don't buy it if you have touched it or want to have a grounding before you touch it then buy this book i would say uh i give this out of 10 an 8 only a mark down because it didn't have a step-by-step -step process but i know i can actually achieve these i can achieve some of these things inside a uh, virtual reality i've got a, a virtual database or offline inside my laptop so i know i can have a little play and i can insert these and create tables and, and enter this code within it etc etc I know I can achieve it because I've actually done it before. If you've never touched it before, what does all that mean? You know, where do you type that stuff? You don't know. Do you save it as a file? It doesn't do this, does it? It doesn't tell you anything about where to put things. Are you doing it in Notepad? Where are you putting this code? Is it code? Is it classed as code? We don't know, do we? Using using the create table statement. It it makes no you know, it doesn't tell you where to put it step one step two step three just as there's, there's an example and that's it so it's a bit thingy on that side having a step-by-step -step process and it gets one point marked off for that which is a biggie for me because that's what i thought i was buying second some of these are classed as books yeah i don't think you can class them as books but that's my own point of view Who's going to buy reserved words in the glossary book? 
Do you know what I mean? What does that mean? <laughs> no one's going to buy it. That's not, you can't class that as a book. That's, that's, part, that's part of a book, but it can't be a book, can it? Uh, so little, bit, little bits there, that's all. And that's me being brutally honest about it. So it gets an 8 out of 10, because if you want a solid understanding of the SQL language and the different things that bolt onto it, you need to buy this book. It gives you a great understanding. I have a, a greater knowledge of it now than I did before. And I'm about I'm about that way through. About there. Where am I? Not even there, actually. I've got a fair chunk, yeah, on there. Understanding relational databases. That's where I am right now. <laughs> yeah, that's where I am. It says chapter one. And I already know, you know, I've read. You think, has he read enough? I've read quite, oh, I've read that, sorry. I've done chapter one, entities, translating, yeah, employee, relationships. I've had to look at these models and the different aspects between each. It's got degree two relationships. So, I, I, so basically, it's a lot of reading. So if you want a, a solid, I know, I know, I've, I've speed read it. So I would say, if you're advanced in dummy, you know, you, you, you consider yourself above the dummy range, you need to buy this. It might say for dummies, but it's not. It's for people who have touched it and it is as almost advanced above it. So it gets an 8 out of 10 for me. If you want to buy yourself a copy of this book, I'll leave its description, uh, its link below with a squill. And then I'll even put that in. Why not? So why not put, if I can find that, if I can't find that, that's a second edition. It's still relevant. This is a dummies book. This is a for dummies book. Step one, step two, it's all there. This is what you want. This is what I thought I was getting when I brought this. A dummies book. Uh, point click. No, this book is. That book isn't. So... I will leave this uh, description uh, link below, and I'll also give you a link to this one if you can still buy it. Uh, if you can't buy it, I'll try and get the latest, the latest edition to it, and you won't be sorry in buying the latest edition of WordPress Web Design for Dummies on the latest edition. So I might leave two books: one for this one, one for the latest version, and this one, which is 2020. It's still relevant today. They update uh, different types of versions for Squirrel Language, PHP. They update every single year some aspects of it. But what you'll have in this, this particular book is the core fundamentals of building a database via the code window, basically. And that will never, almost will never change. It's just by, by me glancing and speed reading this, nothing has changed. It's the same commas, it's the same colons, it's the same select, it's the same create table. It doesn't change. It hasn't changed since the moon landing. <laughs> since the moon landing of 1969. What we involve, what we involve from that, it's in there. It's all in there. The history of it, everything. You'll read it if you get the book. Uh, nothing has changed. The development of it came from the moon landings so well then what what we use today anyway and we're still using it today so if it ain't broke don't fix it so it's all there mate so thanks very much for watching uh, i might have rambled on a little bit there but yeah uh hope you find this informative and uh thank you for watching and goodbye